So iOS 16.5, believe it or not, has came out in a beta. So it's time for us to go and take a look at it, I guess, in terms of how it holds up on these iPhones. Now, yesterday was an even bigger day because 16.4, the official version, came out. But this beta, I would say beta 1, is coming off the heels of iOS 16.4. Just yesterday it came out, which is pretty crazy. Now, 16.5 coming from 16.4, that RC2 version or the official version, depending on what you're coming with, you can see that this specific version is coming about 4.87 gigabytes or 8.2 gigabytes. But like I said, this is not going to be probably what the official update is going to be. It's probably going to be a couple hundred megabytes, not anything crazy. Now, the problem I would say with this specific update is that it is it could potentially be one of the last versions of iOS 16 we could be seeing. Now, if we take a look at our calendar, right, we just got the update today. I would probably say that we might be getting this update officially released maybe in April. We might be getting iOS 16.6 in terms of a beta maybe a month from now, and that may be released in May, and then maybe 16.7 if it comes out sometime in the summer. So we're probably kind of aligning ourselves almost like with iOS 15, if you think about it with 15.7, which it kind of ended off with, it might be ending off the same exact way with iOS 16, which means that we do kind of have some parlay and seeing what Apple's going to be doing in their future updates, usually they start off with 16.0 or, you know, X.X, .X, and now we probably know it's going to be ending off with X.7. That's kind of how they've been doing it for a little bit of time now. Now, within iOS 15 or 16 in particular, there's not really any crazy new features that we have been able to see right now. I took a close look at the subreddit for iOS beta. It doesn't seem like anybody was talking about it. In terms of the features, definitely people have been talking about it, but it doesn't look like anybody has found any crazy cool features that have stuck out yet. But because we are so close to iOS 17, I don't think Apple's going to be bringing any new features. We see this every single year. In fact, I took a look at some videos I made last year and the year before that with iOS updates. And it looks like Apple hasn't really, you know, brought crazy cool features like towards the ending of their updates. Sometimes they have. It looks like they have brought Apple Pay later, which is an awesome feature. And I'm really happy they brought that. 16.4 was a really big, you know, update. It brought a lot of cool things, brand new emojis, notifications within, you know, web applications and so many other things. So 16.5 is probably just going to be an advancement of that, going to be smoothing things out and fixing a lot of things right there. Now, those are basically the main changes. Those are basically the main things I've been able to see. I will say because 16.5 just came out, it's probably not worth installing yet. It's probably worth just waiting it out. But one thing I have seen is with the beta profiles of these things, if you're not rocking like the official beta, like in terms of a developer account, which I don't know if this phone has it, I guess it does. It looks like some people are getting little pop-ups that come up. And like in case of this one, it says your Apple ID, whatever, is not on or currently on a beta. So you can see that on this account, I, I guess I don't have it on my other account. I do actually have it, but this one I don't. So in this case, you are getting these type of pop-ups, which makes me think that within iOS 17, we're probably not going to be able to use those free developer beta profiles. So keep that in mind. You will pretty much have to have a developer account. And if you don't, then clearly you know, you're probably going to have to have one. There's pretty much no way of installing a beta at that point. So those are pretty much the main changes I've been able to see within iOS 16.5. Again, it seems like it's pretty good. I mean, we just installed it, just came out today, so it's going to take a few days for it to you know, kind of go through. But I will say, do not install this update at all unless you're you know, on a beta already and you're okay with it if it's like a side phone or something like that. Otherwise, stick on iOS 16.4. That's definitely going to be the more stable version of software right now. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.